In this challenge, we're going to receive two integers. So we will have a and b as two int variables. And for every number within that inclusive range, we need to do some verifications. So let's say we receive a and b as 5 and 10. Then from the inclusive range of 5 and 10, we need to go through every number. And we need to check for three things. If the number n is within the inclusive range of 1 and 9, then we need to print the English representation of that number in lowercase. That is what they say here as the first task of this challenge. If the number n at that point of iteration is 1, then we need to print 1 on the console. If it's 2, then we need to print 2 on the console as TWO. So you can tell that here we are going to use C strings or char arrays. And the second verification is this here. If the number n is greater than 9, then we need to verify if it's an even number. If it is, then we need to print even in lowercase. If the number n is greater than 9, but it's an odd number, then we need to print odd in lowercase letters. You're probably thinking that we're going to use a bunch of if, else if statements, but we're not. We are going to rely on an array to make this a bit more efficient. So when you begin this challenge, these two lines are going to be given. You have the declaration of two integer variables, int a and b, and then you have this scanf function to receive some user inputs. So here we are initializing our variables a and b. And then below this comment here, complete the code, this is where we have our solution. Like I said, I don't want to have a bunch of if else statements. So I'm relying on this char pointer array here. Remember that this is not C++, so we don't have C++ strings, where this would correspond to a string array, where every element in that array would be a string. In this case, every element in that array is a const char pointer. Because remember that a string is an array of characters. So we have this array of characters, which holds the English representation for every digit between one and nine. Here in my for loop, I'm going through all the numbers within the inclusive range of A and B. So I'm starting I at the value of A, and then I'm going all the way until B. That's why I have if I is less than or equal to B. If the number I is within the inclusive range of one and nine, then I want to print the English representation of that number. So first of all, I'm having this S format specifier because it's a string. I have this new line character because I need to print the words on their own lines. And then I have here the elements at the index I minus one inside of my word array. So remember here, like I said, word is a C string array. So I have construct pointers. And then I want to access the elements at index I minus one. The reason why I have minus one is because arrays are zero base. So let's say I receive the number one here. If I want to access one inside my word array, which is the first element inside my array, I need to remember that this element is at index zero. So I would say I minus one, which is zero. And now I can say the element at index zero inside of my word array. And that will be this one here. Otherwise, if I is greater than nine, but it's an even number, then I want to print even and then have the new line character. Now this, you already understand what it means if i is greater than 9. But here I'm using the modulo operator because I want to verify if I divide the value of i by 2, do I get any remainder? If I don't, it means it's an even number. So that's why I can print even. Otherwise, if i is greater than 9, but I get a remainder when I divide the value of i by 2, it means it's an odd number. So let's run this code first. We've passed the sample test case, and now I'm going to submit. And we've passed all of them. So that's it for this Hackerang challenge. If you guys liked my solution, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.